What makes you think the government won't get more desperate and try to ban Bitcoin completely? For example, 10 years jail for trading Bitcoin. I know plenty of governments that are going to do exactly that, starting with China, followed by India. Ecuador has already passed a ban like that. And guess what? Many of the people in that country don't give a shit. Because in places where the rule of law is weak, bans like that happen easily and are impossible to enforce. Guess what you bribe the police officer in when they come to your house to arrest you for having and trading Bitcoin? You bribe them in Bitcoin, because that's how you know they're reliable. Corrupt. In Soviet Russia, when a police officer asked for a bribe, they would always ask for U.S. dollars for the bribe. Why? Because that was a signal that said, I am so corrupt, I will accept my bribe in the currency that is banned. And of course, so will the politicians and the military. In fact, in those economies, Bitcoin will become the lifeblood of corruption. Not because they didn't ban it, but precisely because they did ban it, so they stopped the class from having it. So by definition, the only people who could have it are criminals who are already breaking laws that will put them in jail for ten years. So they'll break one more. What's the difference? How do you suggest to get out of the go? Oh, okay, let me let me also go back and say you don't need to undelete that, but let me also go back and say in countries where it's not so easy to ban because the rule of law is strong if you just say let's ban bitcoin that becomes a very interesting political and judicial question because bitcoin is a form of speech it's a form of money in the us supreme court they've said repeatedly that money is a form of political speech and therefore you cannot control its use in political campaigns it's actually why we're in this terrible mess because political campaigns are not regulated in any way in the united states so which government is going to have the guts to take that question to the Supreme Court, because that's exactly where it's going, and not know the outcome. Because if the outcome is, oh yeah, money, money is political speech, Bitcoin is money, Bitcoin is political speech, sorry, you can't regulate it. They're fucked. <laughs> they have a constitutional requirement that tells them they can't regulate it, not even a bit. That's going to be an amazing decision. Now that may not happen. We might see much more totalitarian control in places like the United States. I mean, who knows? We might, I don't know, fuck up an election and elect some idiot who's a fascist. I don't know. You never know what happens. Germany wants, wants to create its own blockchain. Ah, very good. Um, government created blockchains, or as they're called, central bank digital currencies are going to come. I was actually expecting governments to create digital currencies before corporations, but Facebook is smarter than governments apparently. So they're going to do it. And you have to ask the same questions that you have to ask about all of these things. You probably know where I'm going with this. How many of you are going to recite them with me? Is it open? Is it public? Is it neutral? Is it transparent? Is it auditable? Is it immutable? Is it censorship resistant? Is it borderless? Is it Bitcoin is to one or greater degree on all of these categories. Bitcoin is all of those things, and that's what makes it magical. So when Germany makes its own blockchain, will it be open? No. Will it be publicly auditable? Maybe. Will it be borderless? Fuck no. Will it be censorship resistant? Absolutely not. Will it be immutable? <laughs> no. Um, will it be neutral? Of course not. It's a political institution. So will it be crypto? No. It will be fiat on a database that they call a blockchain because it sounds better than database. That's all it is. And it will not do anything innovative. It will not bank the unbanked. It won't break the banking regulations. No. It will give greater control and surveillance, and it will be one step closer to the eradication of cash, which thank God German people are resisting fiercely and better than any other country in the world. So good job on that. This is the only place where every time I go out for a meal, I have to ask, do you take credit cards? And usually the answer is no.
To what extent is Bitcoin politically ideological? It seems to me that a large amount of the crypto community is what could be considered as economically right wing, for example, in favor of removing taxation and welfare, zero regulation for businesses, moving towards an anarcho capitalist system. Well, I can see how Bitcoin strength could enable this type of society. Did you think that is the only political system a Bitcoin-centric economy could shape? Can Bitcoin ever be compatible with democratic government? And one of my favorite responses just below is uh, a comment by someone who said, left-winger reporting for duty, I think Bitcoin is compatible with any non-corrupt form of government, no matter what it is. Bitcoin is politically ideological because money is politically ideological, and Bitcoin is politically ideologically predisposed towards individual empowerment and freedom. Now, if you think that's a right-wing principle or a left-wing principle, that says more about your political worldview than it does about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is predisposed to individual freedom over any form of. Um, in, uh, oppression, censorship, or control by others. And the degree to which you believe control by others is a good thing, um, you will find Bitcoin contrary to your worldview and your political views. But that is not a left-right spectrum. The left-right spectrum was defined in industrialized societies based on a battle between capital and labor and really doesn't say much about, um, about control and freedom and oppression as this monetary system that is a modern perspective on political ideology. Left versus right is the 19th century political spectrum. And if you try to pigeonhole Bitcoin or the internet or any of the other uh, modern movements that our society is experiencing today, or technologies that our society is experimenting with today, you are going to find a hard time, or you are going to simply project your own opinions and paint these technologies with your perspective, in order to kind of squeeze them into a left-right divide that doesn't really apply to a modern globalized society where information rather than material goods um, are the primary uh, economic values in many societies so you know the battle between labor and capital was very much about production of agricultural and industrial goods uh, and if you think that's in, as relevant to a modern digital Economy, I think you might be missing the point. I don't think Bitcoin is left-wing or right-wing. I think Bitcoin is individual freedom. Could you implement a system uh, with Bitcoin that supports democratic government? Absolutely. Uh, could you implement a system that supports taxation? Absolutely, you could. Um, you could build systems like that on top of or in parallel to Bitcoin, um, and use Bitcoin as a neutral blockchain that supports individual freedom within such a system. If that system is contrary to individual freedom, then you can't implement it, clearly. So I like the answer which is, I think Bitcoin is compatible with any non-corrupt form of government, because ultimately all uh, corrupt forms of government tend to try to control the individual and enrich those who are in power. They can be left-wing corrupt, they can be right-wing corrupt, um, they're still corrupt. So, Does Bitcoin support corruption? No, it doesn't. And it doesn't support other people controlling you. So, That's the political ideology of Bitcoin. It's different. Um, maybe you can enjoy it with me.